I'm here with the 2011 Ford Mustang V6, which happens to have a brand new 305 horsepower engine. Now, given this new power plant, we thought it only fitting to pit it against its crosstown rivals, the Dodge Challenger SE and the Chevy Camaro RS. But before we called the group complete, we scanned the field of rear drive, four seat V6 sport coupes and found one more, an import from South Korea, the Hyundai Genesis Coupe 3.8. Now with pony cars, it's all about the numbers. So we headed to the test track to see how they ranked. Test numbers don't tell the whole story, so we headed out onto the streets to drive these machines and pick our favorite. In fourth place, we have the Dodge Challenger SE. This is the biggest vehicle here, it's the heaviest vehicle here, and alas, it's the least powerful. So you put those traits together and you have the slowest car and you have the least fun to drive vehicle uh, of the four. Out on a curvy road, this really of the forts, it's the one you kind of don't want to be in. But in a straight line on a highway, uh, it drives great. The ride is really plush, it's smooth. But again, you go back in this group, a car really needs to be fun to drive. You know, these are pony cars, they're rear drive, sporty. And this one simply is the least sporty here and the least fun. Uh, so that's why we put it in fourth place. In third place, we have the Chevrolet Camaro RS. Now we like this car for its styling very cool exterior shape. We like its quickness. It has a great 304 horsepower direct injected V6 paired to a six-speed manual, manual transmission. Overall, we like the handling, firm, sporty suspension, 20-inch wheels, uh, and Pirelli summer tires, so good grip through turns. Uh, but overall, it's just not as fun to drive as the lighter, nimbler uh, Mustang and Genesis Coupe. And then inside, we're not really fond of the overly retro design theme. Uh, it seems that Chevy designers really chose style over ergonomics. The trunk is very small. Interior is kind of tight compared to some of the others. So in the end, you combine the interior ergonomic woes along with the handling that's not quite up to par with the Mustang and Genesis Coupe, and you arrive at third place. In second place, we have the new 2011 Mustang V6. This car is a huge, huge improvement over last year's car, which had a measly 210 horsepower from a rather unrefined V6 engine. This new motor is a 3.7 liter, puts out 305 horsepower, which makes this car in this group the quickest one here. It's also the best handling, thanks to a new suspension, which comes from the Mustang GT, the V8 model. So you get firmer dampers and springs, you get 19 inch wheels with summer tires. At the end of the day, we really love this new Mustang V6. It is by far the best V6 powered Mustang to date. Uh, as I said before, sweet new 3.7 liter engine, 305 horsepower, a very slick six speed manual transmission, a great suspension from the GT. Uh, you have those 19 inch wheels, uh, Exterior styling, you know, we love the retro theme. Interior is, is rather Spartan, but it's, it's nice. And you can also step up to the premium model with leather.
But that said, there was one vehicle we liked a little bit more. The Hyundai Genesis Coupe. That's right, we're in the first place vehicle. Now what really set the Hyundai apart from the others was its true sports car feel. And what I mean by that is, you know, when you drive this Genesis Coupe, you feel really low to the ground. Uh, it stays extremely flat through turns. It has really sharp, quick turn in. Uh, and, you know, through the turns, there's a lot of grip. It's just, it feels really planted and stable. And then you have a very stout 3.8 liter V6 that's refined, it's eager to rev, it sounds great. Uh, a slick six-speed manual transmission, 19-inch wheels, Brembo brakes. So while the Challenger and the Camaro and the new Mustang are all great looking, fun to drive pony cars, this Genesis Coupe 3.8 is the only true sports car and it's the best drive here. Thank you.